Hey guys, A28 Fine Adventure. I have got some seat covers that I'm going to try out. I mostly will use these for uh, when I put a pet in the car or or when I'm real muddy from, from uh, fishing or metal detecting or whatever. And this is going to be part one. This is just a, I'm going to show you the, the seat covers overall in a short video. Part two which will be another video will be a complete install of the of the seat cover so uh, be sure and check that one out if you're interested in these but do your research i'll put a link under the video in the description so check them out and let's get to it okay guys let's see what's in the box so check these out this is a full set of seat covers for the crew max they're in black. They have kind of a nice quilted texture to them. They fit really tight. It comes with everything for the headrest and the uh, console and all kinds of stuff here. Coverado seat covers. And they are like a leather pleather type stuff. Um, they come in this nice carrying bag, uh, which is nice if you're not gonna use them all the time. Step-by-step -step instructions here. You can kind of see Gives you the directions on whether to do uh, rear seat, front seat, you know, everything. I mean, these are really, really neat. This is the console cover. If you look at these, they're really nice. This one here, this is a, this is a complete, like, front seat. Could be passenger or driver, I'm not sure. I'll have to uh, check and see which one. But it's really nice. I don't know if you can see that quilted texture on there. And they smell good too. <laughs> so let's see what we got here. Yep, yeah, there's the back. We have these rings. These are the installation rings. These hold the straps under the seat. I'm not sure what this one is for. Maybe the back headrest. There's only one. These are for the, uh, I would imagine these are for the front headrest. I'll have to check on that. This is for the console. Uh, for the center, the center seat in the rear. So let's start with the passenger front seat. And basically, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just slide the cover over the back. You can go ahead and put your headrest on. And then, those two discs that we installed at the beginning that come in a bag, you shove those between the crease and the seat. You have two of them, and then you have some hooks on the front that you installed at the beginning, and you hook those underneath, and be careful not to hook those to any of the wires. Now moving on to the back seat. The back seat piece on the passenger side is installed exactly like the front. You push those two discs between the crease and the seat, and then it has a different way of attaching the bottom it has some uh, elastic straps with buckles, and they just easily, you know, go into the seat and clip together. And as you can see, these seat covers fit really tight, and they look really good with that quilted pattern. The passenger driver's side, again, goes in the same way. You have those discs that you have to press down into the crease of the seat. You don't have hooks on the back seats. You've got elastic straps that go under the seat. So make sure those are buckled up. You know, and once you get them in, you know, they, they just fit really well. Um, the bottom piece comes in two sections that Velcros together so they stay attached. And it all looks real professional and nice. Now as we move on to the driver's seat, the headrest actually just slips over, um, the cover slips over the headrest, and uh, you install it the same way. You've got those two discs to press through, and the hooks to attach in the front. And you know, one thing I like about these is they have kind of a matte leather finish, and uh, you don't slide around a lot like in regular leather seats that come in a car. But these are very thick, and very protective if you have an animal with big nails say a dog or something like that or whatever um, you know it'll protect your seats 
you know, if you were putting tools in the back or anything like that, these are plenty, you know, substantial to protect your seats from that. And they stay on really tight. Another thing I liked about them was that both seats in the front now have pockets behind them. Whereas in my truck, originally it was just the passenger front seat that had pockets behind them. But these are nice and they look really good. So tell me your thoughts down below in the comment section. I'd really appreciate it. Now again, these are the Coverado Tundra seat covers. They're waterproof leather seats. They're for the, uh, it says for the 2007 through 2021 uh, Tundras. I'm not sure what seats the, the earlier generations had, um, but these are big for the big seats. And they, they sell these for, you know, the crew max, the double cab, and different things like that. It's a tailored fit. They're, you know, easy to clean. So if you get a chance, go check out their website or their page on Amazon and do your own research. I really think you'll, uh, you'll like these. Well, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video on the uh, seat cover install in the Toyota Tundra. It was uh, pretty easy to do. They protect the seats. If you want to check them out, I'll put a link under the video in the description. You can check those out. You know, these are for, you know, protect your seat from mud, from from your dogs or whatever. They're really good quality. I think I'll be happy with them. So, uh, you know, just uh, check them out and do your own research. There's a lot of different ones out there that fit differently. There's more expensive ones that are more like the OE style that comes from the dealer. And then there's some like these that are, they're very heavy duty, they're waterproof, and they, um, but they're, they're kind of a temporary type where you can, if you wanted, you can take them out, put them in, whatever you want to do. I'm probably going to go that route. I'm not going to leave them in full time. So, you know, just check them out. Do your research. If you would, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, I will see you next time. See you.